Hello from Slider and hello from Weaves guys. In the last vid, we saw how to make this weird looking triangle with stars and stuff inside. In this vid, we are gonna go and replace the stars with numbers. So this is how the things look. Let me go ahead and show you. Here you have 1, then you have 2, 1, 2, then you have 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 and blah, blah, blah. So how the question arises, how do we bring these numbers in place? This is the first question you ask, right? Now when you see a problem like this, think about the starting value. This is the thing. See over here the starting is 1, over here the starting is 2, over here the starting is 3 and then it goes 4 but then it starts decreasing. You guys notice that? That means when i is 4 till i is 4 it keeps increasing. After that it keeps decreasing, right? So what we can say is we can say something like this. For the first 4 rows start as i, right? Starting value i is 1, start as 1, i is 2, starting is 2, i is 3, starting is 3. For the first 4 that's the same but after that for the last 3 these three it becomes 8 minus i now think about this when i is 5 8 minus 5 gives you 3 when i is 6 8 minus 6 gives you 2 i 7 8 minus 7 gives you 1 so that's the way we start the values and once we start we'll see how to uh, go ahead and put the things with which we wanted so let me go ahead and that beans continue this part all right now here in that beans i have nothing modified it's the same program which we saw in the last vid there has been no changes to it at all it's the same thing but this time what I want is I want something like this. I want 1 over here. Then I want 2, 1, 2. Alright, so now this is the triangle which I want in this vid. The program has not been modified in any way at all. So let me go ahead and first make the start. Remember if i less than 4 your start becomes equals to i, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and say int if i less than 4. I'll put a start value over here by saying int start equals 0 if i less than 4 start is gonna be i else start is gonna be 8 minus i right this is the start and once we have that instead of stars we are gonna print the start over here so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 so guys can see we have 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 4 4 4 4 3 3 3 2 2 2 1 1 1 but this is not what we want right this is not what we want we want this the numbers should start decreasing 2 then it becomes 1 then it becomes 2 again that's what we want right so how do we do that what we do is we do something very simple inside this loop we print start and we decrease it each time right we say start minus minus so let me go ahead and run this and see what happens control s shift f6 well 1 2 1 0 3 2 1 0 minus 1 now this is again something which we didn't want right I mean it's decreasing that's perfectly fine but after 2 1 it's not printing 2 it's printing 0 so what we want is we want to check the co column right this is the middle column you guys notice that it's the middle column after the middle column that is over here 1 we want things to increase right so what we are gonna say is we're gonna find the middle column first so let's call uh, the middle column something like this and middle column equals to number of columns whatever the number of columns are divided by 2 plus 1 is gonna give you the middle column right so we're gonna say something like this if the current column j remember j is always the current column is less than the middle column then you say start minus minus else you say start plus plus Now take a look at what I've done. Here j is 1, the middle column is 2, right? Here j is 2, the middle column is 2. So it should be actually j less than equals middle column. Let me go ahead and run this and see what happens. Control S, Shift F6. And perfectly we get those numbers. As you guys can see, the middle column is number of columns divided by 2 plus 1. Number of columns if you take as, in this case, if you take the number of columns is 3. 3 by 2 is going to be 1 in java because you are not taking the fractional part so 3 by 2 is 1 plus 1 which gives you this number which is 2 so if j is less than this decrease here decrease here increase so that's what we are doing over here by saying if else now in this vid i have shown you how to put the numbers in the next vid i'm gonna go ahead put the spaces in this and gonna complete this entire diamond thanks for watching if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this i will catch you in the next vid where we get this diamond up and running